Welcome to Fantastic Vision. Please subscribe us before you watch today's video. As we all know, although the tripartite agreement between the United States, Japan and the Netherlands on Chinese semiconductors has not been released publicly, everyone knows very well that the United States has been actively promoting it in private. Recently, Japan and the Netherlands have successively announced the implementation of export controls, which means that the tripartite agreement has basically been established. The United States, Japan, and the Netherlands have monopolized the global semiconductor equipment market, and the implementation of the tripartite agreement will further limit chip restrictions. But after China's countermeasures began, things suddenly turned around, internal strife began, and the Netherlands and ASML became victims. The development of the chip industry is inseparable from chip manufacturing equipment, but the global semiconductor equipment market is basically monopolized by the United States, Japan and the Netherlands. The United States accounts for about 40%, Japan accounts for about 30%, and the Netherlands accounts for about 20%. The three parties together account for 90% of the total. Percent Among the top 10 semiconductor equipment companies in the world, there are four American companies, four Japanese companies, and two Dutch companies. The three major semiconductor equipment giants in the United States, Applied Materials, Fanlin, and Calais, ranked first, third, and fifth, which shows how strong the semiconductor equipment in the United States is. ASML in the Netherlands ranked second, with its leading lithography machine, and Tokyo Electronics, the largest semiconductor equipment manufacturer in Japan, ranked fourth. It can be seen from the above situation that the reason why the United States would Japan and the Netherlands to form a tripartite agreement is because if the three parties jointly implement export controls, they will basically control the world's advanced semiconductor equipment and form a comprehensive containment trend against China. Take the lithography machine as an example. If this indispensable core equipment is stuck, chip manufacturing cannot carry out high-end chip production. EUV used in the 7 nanometers process can only be produced by ASML, and shipments to Chinese companies have been restricted before. Today, the restrictions on immersion DUVs have been expanded. In addition to ASML and Nikon, both Japan and the Netherlands have imposed restrictions. Under the urging of the United States, Japan took the lead and announced that it would implement export controls on 23 items of advanced semiconductor equipment starting on July 23rd. Japan's detailed rules are still very strict, which will affect more than 10 Japanese companies such as Tokyo Electronics and Nikon. The Netherlands moved a little slower and only recently announced the implementation of export controls to restrict advanced deposition equipment and immersion lithography systems, which were officially implemented on September 1. With the announcement of the Dutch ban, the tripartite agreement promoted by the United States is about to land. Japan and the Netherlands have already taken practical actions, and the situation of the tripartite agreement has gradually become clear. It is time for China to start countermeasures. As a result, relevant Chinese authorities have officially announced recently that they will implement export controls on gallium and germanium-related items, which will be officially implemented on August 1st. China generally does not make a move, as long as it makes a move, 
It must be a heavy punch, a precise counterattack, and a direct attack on the root cause. These two types of items are essential basic materials for the global semiconductor and electronics industries, and China has the largest reserves and output of gallium and germanium in the world. More importantly, these two items are still scattered metals, and it is impossible to solve them in a short period of time abroad. Therefore, China's restrictions have caused a thousand waves with one stone, directly shocking many countries, especially the participants of the tripartite agreement. From their reactions, we can understand how powerful China's restrictions are. The words used by the U.S. Department of Commerce are firm opposition. Japan is going to report to the WTO. The Netherlands is even more interesting. It even hopes that the EU will negotiate with China. However, since the cards have already been played, how can they be easily withdrawn? If you don't want to cooperate well, then you can only turn the table. Interestingly, the West seems to have begun in fighting. Recently, the American media publicly pointed out that the ban on lithography machines was all done by the Netherlands. The implication is that the Netherlands issued a ban that led to countermeasures, and the Netherlands should bear the responsibility alone. In other words, the American media began to shirk responsibility, thinking that it was all the fault of the Netherlands, and it was not fair to restrict them. Isn't this ridiculous? Don't the American media know that they lobbied and kept putting pressure on the Netherlands, so that the Netherlands implemented export controls? Now that the United States has tasted the bitter fruit, it has begun to shirk its responsibilities. It is obvious that both the Netherlands and ASML have become sacrifices. The latest news shows that the Prime Minister of the Netherlands will submit his resignation to the King because of excessive pressure from within and from the United States. The Netherlands did not want to follow the restrictions, but the United States continued to exert pressure, and ASML responded internally, and Prime Minister Rutte was overwhelmed. ASML directly bears the loss. The EUV restriction has been damaged before, and now the DUV restriction has been expanded, and the loss is increasing. However, ASML must abide by the restriction rules, bear the loss by itself, and become a victim of the tripartite agreement. It is worth mentioning that the United States will not treat the Netherlands and ASML differently just because they obeyed the arrangement and implemented export controls, and will not take their losses into account. It will abandon them at critical moments, or even step on kick. Some foreign media commented on this, this is the consequence of following the US restrictions, and the Netherlands and ASML are the first to become victims.